Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey and I'm a homeschooling mom to three boys. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you our second week as a gluten-free, dairy-free family, what my grocery trip looks like, and what we have on the menu as far as what we're gonna be eating. Um, this trip, I get to go solo. My husband's home today, off work. And so the boys are with him and I get to actually focus and concentrate a little bit more on exploring what my choices are as far as the gluten-free and dairy-free options that I'm hoping to find. I did already stop at our local grocery store. I found oat milk, which was something that I was disappointed about in the last trip when, with our first week because I knew I wanted it and we finally found it. Our local grocer carries it. So anyways, I'm heading into Walmart to finish my grocery shopping for the week and then I will show you what we've got. Okay, so grocery trip was a success. I spent about a hundred dollars on these items which when i look at them all laid out on the counter i feel like oh my goodness food's getting so expensive but um i was doing a little bit of thinking in my head as i was shopping and i think we're gonna get about 10 days of food out of all of this with what we already have if not longer depending on how hungry the boys get this week um and not all of this will be consumed in one week, so it'll carry over into our next, uh, you know, seven to ten days of eating and whatnot also. So I'm going to turn it around, show you what I got, and tell you what it's for. Okay, first up here we got some extra proteins. Um, like in our previous video, I stated that we have a freezer full of beef, and so... Um, for our white meats, I got some chicken breast for chicken salad and then um, some grilled chicken options later in the week if we need it. And a bunch um, of strawberries. And a bunch of strawberries, yes. Some Tennessee Pride breakfast sausages. These are our favorites. They don't have a lot of added things to it. And they're just nice and uh, quick and easy to pull out and cook in the morning for breakfast. Um, some plant butter, more coffee, got some berries. Uh, raspberries under there celery I've come to really enjoy that to scoop up um, like my chicken salad or egg salad or whatever kind of lunch type salad that I've made baby carrots apples bananas a couple boxes of cereal um, some popcorn we love making popcorn around here I got these two new things to try we tried a Walmart brand pancake mix last time and it wasn't terrible the kids liked it um, I think Dave did too, but I know I like Krusty's brand, and so um, I thought we'd give their gluten-free options a try. This is like a one-serving kind of deal. Like, it'll make a cake or a batch of muffins, and then this we can get a couple breakfasts out of with the pancakes. And then pretzel crisps, again, to kind of dip out like our chicken salad or tuna salad um, since we're not doing bread. Or soft tortillas, the bread like is dairy. it's not dairy bread. The bread is gluten, but there's gluten free bread, but it's like six dollars for a loaf, and we're just not going there. Um, some black beans, <laughs> some black beans, and uh, refried beans for some like corn quesadillas with some taco meat um, as an option. And then I got these to try again for lunches. Um, Dave's going to be working out a lot this week um, out of the truck. And so he's really going to need like some good food um, that will be easy for him to pack and take with him. And so um, he's going to be so excited to try these. <laughs> if you hear a little bit of sarcasm in my voice, because he's um, on board, but still not thrilled about the whole thing. <laughs> um, some yogurts for him. And then salsa, we've got some green chili chicken enchiladas, um, dairy free and gluten free. And then this is my favorite mayonnaise that I use um, 
for like that creaminess. And then I found a recipe for some sushi style tuna salad. It's like a um, tuna roll kind of flavors and I needed some fish sauce. So I got that. And then some brown rice for, we're gonna do some broccoli beef um, is on the menu as well. Tonight is gonna be juicy steaks with some roasted vegetables. And we've got leftover chili. Um, so yeah, the only thing I think I'll end up adding later this week is if we end up grilling out Friday, I'm gonna get some bratwursts to go with our um, burgers because the kids love like the hot dog and bratwurst type meals. So that's what we got for this week. I forgot to tell you about the oat milk. So I had to go to a totally different grocery store to get the oat milk, but I found it. Um, I got a treat for the kids, some dark chocolate oat milk for a chocolate milk because they've been so good about this whole thing. And then um, this brand of regular creamy, extra creamy oat milk. And then I know that I like this one. So um, this we're still kind of trying some different things here, but um, we I knew we had cereal on the menu this week for an option and that I was going to need more milk. So I went ahead and got three of these. Um, to have on hand. So yeah, oat milk. <laughs>